So I've been asked to talk a little bit about particle size and why it's important in terms of health benefits of any product, including Advanced TRS. Advanced TRS is a zeolite, and a zeolite is a mineral substance that is very porous. And 0.9 nanometers is the whole size or the active site of the zeolite. And this size, 0.9 nanometers, is important because it happens to be a perfect size for the binding of heavy metal toxins and other small molecule toxins. Moreover, this chamber that is 0.9 nanometers in size is also negatively charged and this negative charge has a high affinity for positively charged materials which happen to be most toxin. In the case of a molecule, which can be called a particle, that size is a nanometer or maybe two nanometers at most and that molecule is its own independent entity that will do its job all by itself. In the case of a zeolite, the active spot, which would be the spot that has a function, just like a molecule has a function, happens to be 0.9 nanometers. But that doesn't define the size of the zeolite particle, it just defines the size of the active site in a zeolite particle. And because all these active sites have to be connected together in a stabilizing structure, it's impossible for the entire particle to be 0.9 nanometers in size. You have to have enough of these active sites together to maintain each other so that the entire unit stays stable. So if, someone's, if, if one were to have a particle that is one nanometer large and then a void or an active space that's 0.9 nanometers large, then that means the walls, the entire volume of the walls that support that active site can't be more than 0.1 nanometer in dimension. This is impossible. If you take as the definition of particle the smallest entity that has a certain active function, then yes, 0.9 would be the size of a particle of zeolite. But because that zeolite cannot maintain its function if it's only one independent 0.9 nanometer sized object, the entire unit has to be bigger than 0.9 nanometers to maintain the activity.